All right, I'm gonna show you something very interesting. There's actually a idol of Tammuz, the false god Tammuz, in the Vatican. And you have a statue of a woman who they think is Mary, but really it's a <clears throat> the Babylonian queen of heaven in Jeremiah 44 verses, I think it's 17 to 25, weeping for you know who they think is Jesus Christ, but of course it's a false image of Jesus Christ. And really, it's the woman weeping for Tammuz. And I'm gonna show you that because the Vatican, the Roman Catholic Vatican, is just filled with all kinds of pagan idols and pagan idolatry, it really resembles a pagan Roman temple. If you really compare a Roman temple, even the exterior, with the columns and the hallway, it, it resembles a pagan Greek Roman temple for their gods. That simple. So, the Vatican and Roman Catholicism is just repackaged Greco-Roman paganism. But I'm going to show you Ezekiel chapter 8, verse number 14. Uh, it says, Then he brought out, brought me to the door of the gate of the Lord's house, which was towards the north. And behold, there sat women weeping for Tammuz. Okay. Well, Tammuz is basically a false god of, you know, the, of the Middle East. It's a false god of various regions of the Middle East. And um, this woman, this woman weeping for Tammuz. Well, you have a depiction of that at the, uh, at the Vatican. Let me just show you guys that. Here you have, I made this little image with the wording there, but basically you have this uh, woman they call Mary, but if you, you can identify her as the Babylonian queen of heaven in Jeremiah 44, um, or you can call her Diana of the Ephesians in Acts 19, I think it's uh, Acts 19, yeah, Acts chapter 19, Diana of the Ephesians. So she has multiple uh, identifications. So this is not the Mary of the Bible, this is a, uh, Greco-Roman pagan Babylonian goddess, okay? But they think it's Mary, but uh, you have woman here and they have this figure they call Jesus Christ who is actually Tammuz. So what do you have here? Weeping for Tammuz in Ezekiel 8.14, okay? That's what you have there. So you have a pagan idol, which is, you know, resembling ancient, you know, kind of uh, Middle Eastern paganism from that region of the Middle East. Uh, you know, in the Vatican claiming it's a Christian, you know, uh, it's Mary weeping for Jesus. No, it's not, okay? They'll, they'll make it seem that way, but really, that's what it comes down to. And not to mention, too, you have a graven image here of Jesus Christ. You know, let me show you some scripture on that. Uh, Acts chapter, this is a really good proof text. Just a really good, quick little verse to use against these Catholic images of Jesus Christ. Uh, Acts 17, 29, For as much then as we are the offspring of God, we ought not to think that the Godhead is like unto gold or silver or stone graven by art and man's device. You ought to have images of the Godhead. What are you doing with a statue of Jesus Christ, who again is just Tammuz, who they are saying is Jesus Christ. And the woman here is Mary, or Diana of the, Diana of the Ephesians. You can call her whatever. She has multiple identifications in the Bible, uh, in the Word of God. But just more example of pagan idolatry in the Vatican. So you have Tammuz, a woman weeping for Tammuz, like in Ezekiel 8.14. It's, uh, the Vatican is a pagan temple, just that simple, under the guise of a Christian church. Uh, no, it's modeled, like I said earlier, it's modeled after Greek Roman pagan temples. But don't have time to get into that. But just want to show you guys that, very interesting. Weeping for Tammuz in the Vatican. So don't be deceived by Roman Catholicism, it is a pagan cult. It just repackaged paganism from very different, various different regions. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.